Hello and welcome to Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick and I'm here at the Mobile World Congress 2018 in Barcelona and I'm talking with Mobin Khan who is VP of IoT Solutions at AT&T. Mobin, great to see you again. Thanks for talking to us. A bit of a different setting this time. We're actually in the ISS, the International Space Station. We're on the ground. It's up there behind your head. That's where the, that's a connection to it. But um, very different sort of environment. And we're going to talk about more down-to-earth things, but nice place to be doing it in. Well, thanks for having me here and a uh, lovely setting to do a, uh, an interview here today. OK, Moby, let's start with this. AT&T, major, major, major service provider. What are the top opportunities and challenges facing your digital transformation today? Uh, just like any other large corporation, uh, we adopt technologies to service our customers and uh, we are going through, we are continuously going through a transformation. Um, specifically, uh, several years ago, our CTO and now our CEO laid out a challenge to transform our network layer in, in addition to all the services that we provide to our consumers and business customers. So we have been going through that transformation of making our network more software centric. So that's a major part of at and strategy uh, to, to provide these new services, whether these are IoT services or video services to our customers. And that's leading to a tremendous transformation of our network but also all the processes, systems, and interface points uh, of our company. And so we are well into that transformation today and will continue to invest in that transformation. Thank you. Now, we are on the HPE booth, which is a strange name for it, considering how big it is, and the ISS is sat in the middle of it. Um, but HPE, let's talk about the vendors. So um, HPE has been involved in, this, in the space program for much longer than I actually new until I came here and learned all about this, but what can the vendor community do better to help you at AT&T on your network transformation journey? Yeah. So um, as you can imagine, this is a very large investment for AT&T, just like any other big company, um, and you cannot do it alone. Uh, so we have uh, vendors and partners at every layer of our technology stack that are helping us through this transformation. So if you look at, for example, at the network layer, think of our cellular network or even some of our wireline network infrastructure, we have uh, partners and vendors that have traditionally been working with us for decades. And the same vendors and some new ones are now co-investing with us in, in making this transformation happen faster and on budget. Similarly, at the IT space, if you will, where we have customer interface points, the portals and the systems to manage our customers, to manage deployments, to manage their uh, interface points with us. We have vendors like HP and like others that are helping us at those, uh, those layers of our transformation. So without those vendors and partners, this is a very, very tough journey. It is a tough journey already, but having the right partners is a key in having a successful transformation. The importance of being customer-centric is becoming more and more prominent in the telecoms industry. What actions are you taking at AT&T to make your network more subscriber and consumer friendly? Yeah, uh, well, AT&T has been very focused on our customers throughout. Uh, the, the complication, if you will, in, in some ways, is that AT&T is both a consumer brand, so it services needs of you and I as consumers of cellular technology and other things that, that we sell in entertainment, but we also are a huge business customer focused company. And so we have global customers across the world. Here we are in Barcelona, and we have a slew of our international customers here with us um, today and yesterday. Um, so we service both the business community and the uh, consumer community. And the, the types of systems and interface points and the, the, um, the technologies you have to deploy to, to service both those customers are very different, as you can imagine. And so uh, having those, those right investments and the focus to be very customer-centric is important, but it's different for a consumer versus a business. So we have to 
do a dual strategy of making sure that our business customers are taken care of by having their business systems connect to us in a seamless way, but then also as consumers, we use all the social channels, we use all of the, uh, the ways consumers communicate and service their needs as well. Rubin, what are the new services and use cases that you're looking to prioritize at at and and to enable in the coming years? And which verticals do you think will deliver return on investment on your investment in 5G? So uh, 5G's, uh, uh, there's a lot of fi uh, talk about 5G here at, in Barcelona um, this time around. We've made some announcements around our, our investments in 5G. It's a very important evolution of our network and technologies uh, that enables, but enhances a lot of our existing use cases, but enables a lot of new use cases. And again, as I said earlier, it, the technology serves both our business customers and our consumer customers. I'm going to talk a little bit about IoT and 5G because that's an area I'm involved in. Sure. Um, so there, there are a lot of use cases around video capture, so think about surveillance. Think about our first net investment where first responders walking into a disaster situation probably need to be fully censored with video surveillance uh, active, and that requires a tremendous amount of and net network investments, including investments like 5G. If you look at some of the business customer side of things, you think about a connected factory floor. Think about a connected hospital where you have a tremendous amount of data being created, whether it's medical imaging, MRIs, and so on, that need to be, uh, uh, to go to the right healthcare clouds uh, for and your your care providers. So those kind of use cases start to become really, really key for us uh, as we look at faster and low latency technologies like 5G. Excellent. Robin Khan, thank you very, very much indeed. Thank you for having me here.